So let's take a look at the difference between sodium, that's just Na, and then the sodium ion, Na+. Plus. See why they're different. So for sodium, if we go to the periodic table, this is a block from the periodic table, you don't see a negative or a positive. That's because all the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. The number of protons, the atomic number, that equals the number of electrons around the nucleus. So with just sodium right here, we'll have atomic number of 11, 11 protons, and then 11 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 electrons for sodium. For Na+, we actually lost an electron. So we lost this electron right here. That went away. And that meant that this shell was gone, this energy level. And then we had more protons. We had 11 protons and only 10 electrons. So it made it Na+. So the big difference between sodium and the sodium ion is, well, the sodium ion, it lost an electron and it lost that energy level. But this is very stable here. We have eight electrons in the highest energy level. That means it's going to be like a noble gas. It's not going to be very reactive. It's going to be very stable. Sodium over here by itself, just Na, it has this one valence electron, and it's going to be reactive. It'll give that to other atoms like chlorine, form chemical bonds. You'll notice, too, that the sodium ion, it's smaller. It's smaller because it lost this energy level here, but it's also smaller because remember, we have 11 protons here in the nucleus. Sodium, whether it's an ion or an atom like this here, it always has 11 protons. But now, instead of 11 electrons, we only have 10. So the nucleus pulls these closer. The positive charges, they attract the negatives, and it pulls it closer. It makes it even a little bit smaller. So the sodium ion, and positive ions in general, they're going to be smaller than the neutral atom they come from. But that's it. That's the big difference between the sodium and the sodium ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.